Back in this country, there have been a lot of headlines today about the disappearing American middle class. As we reported here last night, that new report from the Fed shows that American families lost 40 percent of their worth during what some economists now refer to as the Great Recession. Tonight, Ann Thompson continues her reporting on how the recession is hitting home as many people are forced to adjust expectations. Jill Peters and her mom, Angie, are caught in the economic squeeze on the middle class. Jill's out of work for the second time in three years. 58-year-old Angie juggles two jobs. We're in the middle and we're fighting to stay there. Linked by the financial challenges they face, similar to the bleak picture painted in this Federal Reserve survey. At 37, I was certain that I was going to be completely in the middle of my glorious career. I never thought for one second that I might have to call my mom and say, oh, mom, you know what? Can I borrow like 20 bucks? Like so many, they are now careful about every cent, the opposite of the irrational exuberance of the 1990s. Today, Americans are extraordinarily cautious. We were burned very severely during the financial crisis, and many people thought, saw the illusion of what they thought they had disappear quite quickly. The most devastating blow, the collapse of the housing market. The Federal Reserve says housing accounted for almost 30 percent of family assets in 2010, but the average value of a family's primary home slid more than 17 percent, a loss of $55,700. The thinking was that it could take a decade to recapture the values. Now you could imagine it being two decades to get back the kind of declines we've seen in housing in this country. A little more than 15 percent of families reported their houses were underwater in 2010, worth less than what they paid for them. And for the first time, more families borrowed money for education than cars. 19 percent of families took on debt to pay for school. The average owed more than $25,000. Jill, an electrician by trade, is one of them. I'm not even halfway done with my, or a little over halfway done with my master's program, and I am 30000 in debt. Now, there has been some improvement in the economy since this snapshot was taken 18 months ago. Housing values have stopped falling, and CNBC's Leesman says other surveys show a combination of higher stock prices and paying down debt has helped net worth rise from its worst levels. Leesman and Stock both agree that there is no quick way out of this hole, Brian. Quickly becoming the story of our times. Ann Thompson, as always, thanks.